How to distinguish between look-alike flowers for trekking journaling. When trekking through the lush trails around Portland, or really any region filled with nature's bounty, you'll come across a myriad of flowers that seem to be doppelgangers of each other. Take daisies and chamomile, for instance. From a distance, they're like two peas in a pod. But when it comes to chronicling your adventures and the flora you encounter, accuracy matters. Whether you're a casual trekker looking to up your botany game or a nature journal enthusiast keen on detailing the greenery, here are some common ways to get those flower names right. Go Analog, Field Guides. Field guides are the bread and butter of plant identification. They are a visual encyclopedia of the regional flora. Tuck one in your backpack and whenever you see a bloom that catches your eye, thumb through the book. It'll usually have pictures, descriptions, and sometimes even those delightful little margins for scribbling quick notes. Digital Sidekick, Plant Identification Apps. We're living in a technology-soaked world, aren't we? So why not use it to our advantage? Apps like eNaturalist or PlantSnap can be a godsend when you're out in the wild. Snap a photo with your phone and let the app work its magic. It'll cross-reference your picture with a vast database of flowers and tell you what you're looking at. Talk to the locals. There's a wealth of knowledge in local communities, especially among the older folks. If you run into them during your trek, don't be shy, strike up a conversation. Chances are they can tell you the names of the flowers and probably share some lore or personal anecdotes tied to them. Trek with a botanist. Occasionally, you'll find guided treks where a botanist or a naturalist leads the charge. Tagging along on these walks is not only educational, they're also immensely enriching. They'll point out the subtle differences you'd otherwise miss. Keep a journal and sketch. Sometimes the old ways are the best ways. If you're serious about learning, carry a journal. Sketch the flowers you can't identify and note down features, number of petals, leaf arrangement, color, size, and habitat. This not only aids memory, but also gives you a reference to check against later. Practice and patience are the undercurrents here. The more time you spend with nature, the more patterns and distinctions you'll pick up. And before you know it, you'll be rattling off flower names with the ease of a Portland local who knows their roses from their rhododendrons. Keep trekking, keep journaling, and nature will reveal her secrets to you one petal at a time. Remember, it's not just about the names. It's also about appreciating the subtle beauty and diversity that nature has stitched into the canvas of our planet. And what a canvas we have here in the Pacific Northwest. So next time you're setting out on a trail, go prepared, and your journey will be all the richer for it.